Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial created for the new Boston. Now in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about exception handling. Now exception handling is a different way to handle errors in PHP that your program might output. And it's used to change the flow of your program, usually to save um, the current state of the program while you throw the error. And there's loads and loads of different ways to do that, but before we get into it, um, the different parts of this tutorial um, and parts relative to exception handling will um, go through different ways and you'll eventually try and understand how it helps. I'm not going to do too much explaining for now but meanwhile follow along my example, test out the code and um, try and work out for yourself um, how this is best worked out and where you should best use it. So I'm going to create an example uh, and this is going to be a function that's dividing by um, a number, so dividing two numbers. So let's set the uh, skeleton up for our um, function. It's just basically function, divide, and then we're going to supply it with two arguments. So it's num1 and num2. Now, with division by zero, we need to incorporate this into our function to ensure that division by zero doesn't occur. Now, num2 cannot be zero. Num1 can be zero because when we divide zero uh, by zero, let's just bring up a calculator actually. Um, so let's say we've got 0 divided by 10 is 0. So that's absolutely fine, that operation is completed. Now what about 10 divided by 0? Cannot divide by 0. So num1 can't equal 0 at any point in this function when we uh, call it with the uh, parameters the arguments put in. So we first of all need to create an if statement to say if num2 is equal to 0, then we need to do something else we need to echo, um, oh, no we don't, we need to return, sorry, uh, num1 divided by num2. So let's test out the, um, the divide function we've just created. So we're going to echo out divide and we're going to say 10 and 5 for example. So 10 divided by 5 is 2 so we should uh, return this um, operation because num2 does not equal 0. So let's come and refresh. And you can see that we've been returned with the value 2. So now what happens if we supply it with um, 0? Uh, let's go back here and supply this form with 0. And refresh. Um, so obviously nothing's happening at the moment because inside our block uh, nothing's happening but uh, or there's not, no code inside our block. But what happens if we want to throw a new exception? So these, this is the simplest way to throw an exception. We want to say throw new exception and in here we can specify a custom error message that's going to be sent through with the error. So cannot divide by zero. Now why do we use um, exception handling and why do we throw new exceptions? Now the reason is we usually in this case do it to substitute the error message um, we give an error out but we don't use the default PHP error message we don't want to do that because we don't want to show it to our users in the way that we've created a PHP error that, that's just one way that we uh, might use to do this so let's go back here and press refresh and see the difference in uh, error we've got. So here we've got uncaught exception, exception with message cannot divide by zero in this file. Um, and it gives us a host of other information as well and tells us where it's thrown. So it's thrown on line five, which is uh, here that we're on here now. So this is a basic idea of throwing an exception. Now the reason we're not um, we're not returning a we're returning a fatal error we are returning a fatal error is because we don't have a block to catch this exception and to do this we use a uh, try throw and catch um, statement um, I'm not going to explain this in this example but we're going to do that in the next video um, and this is going to allow us to make things a bit more custom so for now we've thrown ex an exception without a catch so we've been given a fatal error which looks like this in the browser but later on we're going to work with the try, throw and catch to um, make everything flow just a little bit better.